Good morning, fellow shellers. I am in New Jersey, and I'm on the hunt for a knobbed whelk, the state shell. A coworker of mine found one at Atlantic City, and now I need one. And since I'm new to New Jersey, we'll also see what the Atlantic coast has to offer. And here we are. I'm going to park here at the red circle and move up the coast northbound. I'm at the Brigantine Beach. Usually I shell in southwest Florida, so I'm prepared to be disappointed here, but who knows. This beach is literally frozen right now. It's 19 degrees, if you didn't catch it earlier. Ah, good. Our first catch of the day. A quahog. The underside is uh, purple, which is called wampum. It was used by the Native Americans as currency and jewelry. Here's a pretty blue clam shell. Here's a oyster shell. Sun is not quite up yet. I'm still in uh, flashlight mode. Here's a jackknife shell. Looks like one side of it is unfortunately broken. And here's a little crab. It was literally rock hard, frozen solid. And yes, I know I totally missed that little snail shell there. Super disappointed. Uh, but here's a small jackknife intact. And here we have a black bay scallop with ice. It's black because it was buried for literally hundreds of years and the sediments have turned it that color. Uh, here's a horseshoe crab. So this is actually a northern moon snail could tell by that hole right there on the reverse side. Not to be confused with the shark eye. Shark eye has the hole covered. I wonder if this is where blue slushies come from. So this is a shark eye. You see that patch of shell covering the hole on the underside? Uh, looks like there's also a slipper shell attached to the shark eye. And another slipper shell on top of that one. Shellception. So up to this point, I'm pretty much regretting being here. It's really cold, and there really hasn't been much in terms of shells. But I see something in the distance, and BOOM! This is my first huge shell, and it's literally perfect. Sanibel Island can suck it! I mean, I guess I can pretty much go home now. I accomplished my mission. And there's this poor little hermit crab that was frozen solid. A little hermit sickle. And there were tons of them like this. Like, here's another one. Along with slipper shells. And some frozen barnacles. So here's a red base scallop. Frozen to the top of the sand. I had to use an oyster shell to dig it out. It's a pretty red. All right, so we made it to the edge of civilization, as you saw in the red circle. Uh, I'm still the only one out here, aside from that beach patrol guy. So here is a shark eye, that the actual snail, and it was frozen. Here's another knobbed whelk. It's frozen, or uh, not frozen. Well, everything's frozen, but it's broken, so we'll... Throw that back for the next person. That's frozen down. It's a tagalus, if that's how you pronounce it. It's kind of an oval shaped shell. We'll throw it back because it's, it's cracked. So here's more uh, 
snail shells. And there was a ton of them. I've never found them before, and then you know, this one day on this beach, I found a million. There's another one. There's another whelk, another knobbed whelk, had a bubble in it, there we go, yep, no holes, perfect, that's a keeper. We got here a shark eye, well that's a really cool one, the spiral is very prominent in that one. This is pretty cool, it's a bunch of like oysters that have clung to themselves. So this is a false angel wing. It's pretty cool. It's too bad the yellow one wasn't uh, wasn't there. Another bay scallop. Sun is up at this point. It's getting a little warm out. It's like 20 degrees now. The high is supposed to be 22 or something like that. Piece of driftwood, nothing under it. So this weird thing. So this is a ribbed muscle and has some kind of plant growing on top of it, so we're just gonna put that back. Here's another knobbed whelk, filled with ice, but not bad. has a lot of dead frozen barnacles on it. We could probably clean that up. So we'll keep that. Baby knobbed whelk. Here's another uh, snail. Has a hole in it. It was eaten by another snail. No that way. one had all kind of things going on. Now this, this no is a good find. Fucking way. This no is a giant way. northern moon snail, and it's it's perfect. another it got to the point where there was so many moon snails and shark eyes that I didn't even I stopped collecting them after a while that was a blue mussel there lots of clams a lot of oysters a lot of mussels and then we got this guy this is not a knobbed whelk, this is a channeled whelk. It has a lot of uh, sea gunk on it, but the overall <laughs> shell's in good condition. We'll clean that up. And here is another one, a channeled whelk. No holes, no chips, it's really good condition.
face scallops, jackknives, surf clams. Now this, this thing is actually an egg sack for whelks. So baby whelks come from that thing. Here's a, another channeled whelk. It's a little bit broken on the edge there, but that's a keeper. So here's an arc. I think it's a blood arc. Horseshoe crabs. Now by this time, just to give you perspective, uh, there's Atlantic City. And there, I was still the only sheller on this beach. There was a few people that drove by. I don't know where they were headed. And here's another... Is that a channel? A channel dwell? It's broken though. We'll, we'll leave it for someone else. There's another one. Channeled Welk. But we'll put that one back. I'm not sure how this guy didn't get ran over. This almost looks like a baby lightning whelk, but the opening is on the right side, so it has to just be a normal Atlantic whelk. But it has the colorations like a lightning whelk almost. Oh, here's another pretty large uh, northern moon snail. It's in good condition, nothing in it, we'll keep it. Lots of driftwood, seaweed. Yeah, by this point I stopped collecting moon snails, unless they were like the, the super big ones. There's another channeled whelk. It's pretty ratty though, we'll, we'll put it back. Crabs and oysters and clams. Oh my. Here's another channeled whelk. Got some holes. So we'll, we'll put that back. Yeah, I only brought a, uh, a sh like a normal shopping bag with me because I didn't think I was going to find many shells here. And this bag, by about this point, is it's probably like 30 pounds of just shells I'm carrying around. Just because I found so many. Are you kidding me? Here's another knobbed whelk. Ah, It looked so good and then so disappointed. This place is basically a sushi bar. There's so many crab parts and seaweed, and clams, oysters. There's another knobbed whelk. Stick that on my bag. I'm 
you could see my bag. It's I'm running. I have no more room. I literally have no more room. At this point, I'm like, please, no more shells. Like, please, please be broken. I, I don't have room. Thank, thank you. It's broken. All right. It's moving on. But this one is not broken. In fact, this is the biggest one yet. So I'm like, how am I going to fit this? Obviously, I had to keep that one. It's a good one. So I almost had to just empty everything out and just do triage on my bag. Just pick out all the good ones. There's another whelk. It's a good one. My shoes got a little soggy there, but worth it. So we're getting ready to turn around at this point. But, considering I have no more room in my bag, you know, what's, what's one more shell, right? Alright, let's go see what I got. All right, so this is uh, what we ended up with. Uh, this is after I cleaned them all. If you are wanting to know how I cleaned them and what my methods were and all that, uh, be sure to check out my next video. But this is everything. So as you can see, we got quite a haul as far as large shells, both channeled whelks, knobbed whelks. Uh, we got a lot of moon snails from pretty large ones to you know, your, your small regular ones. A lot of clams, a lot of oysters, a lot of base gallops. Uh, got a, some arcs, got some slippers. But yeah, this is the haul. So not bad, not bad, New Jersey, not bad.